is indeed time to get fit now in, in well, inspiration obviously, has come from uh, JP Sebastian and Carl Wastey and we're talking about that movie and we're bringing our own brigade of exercises today and we've got two segments Zoe and I are going to take you guys through and of course once again you can use any equipment that you wish. We're starting off with the upper body and this is going to be a fun one and of course with every firefighter out there, there involves a lot of strength and requirement when it comes to saving a life and being life saving ready number one but number two you also need to carry a lot of weight, you've got lots of obstacles in the way, you're pulling, you're pushing, you're doing all sorts of movements and that's what we're getting in condition for today and if you um, Zanzi, are starting off with your fitness journey, don't worry you can also do these exercises too. So let's have some fun with it. I've got a kettlebell here and you're wondering why I'm uh, chilling with a towel or... I'm wondering. <laughs> it's a fish cloth actually, Shh, don't tell mom. Uh, but you guys can use any equipment hack that you wish and that's what we're doing in the kitchen, well in the studio today. <laughs> it could be the kitchen, it doesn't matter where you are at home. But just to show you the ease of how easy it is to actually work out, you don't need equipment again. If you want to simulate this exercise and you don't have a kettlebell, you could literally put something heavy in your towel, like some books or anything else, wrap it around in there and you'll be able to do the exact same exercise. Okay. So, starting with our first exercise, it's functional. A lot of the time, firefighters are always pulling things that need a lot of upper body strength. This is also going to help with the biceps as well as the back. So, we're going to take our towel and wring it through the handle of the kettlebell. Again, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can wrap a dumbbell in the towel or anything else that has some weight. Then we're going to have a nice neutral spine while resting our chest straight over the kettlebell all the weight. Now, the main aim is to keep a good solid foundation. As a firefighter lifting somebody up, you want to be solid and strong. And you want to work from the legs, not yes. the pressure on the back. Brilliant stuff, Zoe. And anybody else picking items up at home, again, use your legs and not your arms. Now, the best part of this movement is I've got my ditches of my elbows facing forward, all right? Step number one. I'm going to bring the weight all the way through and towards my chest as tight and as high up as I can. You'll see the towel start to separate. Now pull away from it and then slowly lower it back down. Now you should feel some stimulation on the shoulders, number one, on those biceps, number two, as well as the upper back. And you can see the tempo that Zoe and I are going right now. This is nice and slow. This is good control and this is incorporating a lot of strength into the exercise. Ten reps in total, four sets each, and this will get your first exercise done. How are you feeling over there? Feeling good, feeling warmed up. Yeah, nice stability there, Zoe. I love the fact that you've got a good strong foundation. You can drop the towel for now. You don't necessarily need this, but again, if you don't have a kettlebell, keep the towel because that's going to be your weight for this workout. Now, keep the weight in your hand. Again, if it's not the weight, it's the towel. We're going to start off with the following, all right? You have your shoulders, or well, you have your hands next to you, well, underneath your shoulders nice and stacked, and then I'm going to let you start off with a basic bicep curl, all right? So keep the ditches of the elbow facing in front of you, bring that weight all the way up, and then all the way back down. Now, at the same time, remember, firemen carry a lot of weight, so we're going to incorporate the obliques to make sure that we're not always lopsided, but we also have the control and stability. So once we're done with that curl, we're going to literally, I'll do the sake of making the exercise harder. Zoe's going to do an easier version where she keeps her hand down. But if you want to make it harder, put your hand behind your head and you're lifting that weight all the way to the side and then dropping it straight back down. Low as you can, low, low, low. You get a big stretch in that oblique. That's those Levi lines. And then standing straight back up. And then we're going for another bicep okay. curl. All right, how are you feeling over there? I got the, the, the movement a bit wrong. <laughs> I thought you had to curl and tip. No, like, no, 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 okay. No, no, so no. it's a big curl. So watch it again, curl. Arm goes straight back down. And then we're gonna do the little twist, twist, okay. and then bring it back up. There we go. So again, 10 reps on each side for you, Mzanzi, and then you wanna make sure that you're doing both sides of the body, and you will feel a good stretch on the opposite side of that weight, and that's a good thing. That means we're working those Levi muscles, those obliques over there that stick out of the body as well. A brilliant exercise for you. And to finish it off, we've got the upper body to sort things out. So you can put that kettlebell on the floor or the weight or anything else that can just protrude out of the ground. And we're gonna use this as a staggered push-up method. So starting on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, we're going for both sides again in total. It's simply first starting off with a push-up. So we're pushing down to the weight all the way back up. Use your core, engage it. Now you want to lift that weight all the way, high pull. Ooh, Zoe's going an extra mile and getting it all the way in the oh, sky. I went all the way up. You can I do, do have a light to kettle though. <laughs> <laughs> and then straight back into a push-up. So you're going to stay on the same side again. You'll see the intensity is not too hectic, but we're working on our strength, our core stability, and of course control. You want to be in control when you You've got your fire brigade behind you and you're trying to save a life. You need to be composite, you need to be conditioned, and of course you need to have lots of composure. And that's what we're doing right now. That here. was a good upper body. Yeah, I'm but feeling the sweat, eh? I am feeling it. Now I know we focus on the upper body, but I know that fire, like to be a firefighter, you need to focus on the whole body. 100 percent So that's the upper body tick. 
perfect. And if you, Mzanzi, don't go anywhere because later on we've got another round and we're working on that lower body, getting you firefighter condition. And if you're just starting your journey, then come join us. You're going to love this one. <laughs> it's my feel good so much, Carl. Now we are continuing our fitness segment on how to train like a firefighter. And next, we're going to be focusing on the lower body. And I know you love that first session. The upper body is prime. Now, of course, firefighters need to be strong and fit and remain in life-saving shape to respond to fires, accidents, and of course, other incidents too. Now, here's a few lower body exercises you can easily incorporate into your own personal fitness routine at home. And here to show us how is myself and Zoe Brown. Well, you are showing me. That's how it's being done. <laughs> no, but you I'm have to show everybody that there's no excuse. Anybody can do this. True. And you can do it in the comfort of your own home. I love that you're giving us variations if you don't have a kettlebell, yes. which a lot of people don't. There are other things you can use instead of a kettlebell. Exactly. So if you were watching earlier, just another tip, you don't have to use a kettlebell. You can use a dumbbell for this or, like I said, you can wrap up some books or something heavy into a towel and use it as your weight. All right. That's so right. let's get into the good stuff. So we're starting off with something fun. Like I said, we're focusing on the lower body, okay? That's right. And, and our inspiration is, of course, the movie. It's not just the movies, but it's a specific movie. It's called Bring Your Own Brigade, of course. We were chatting about this earlier. Bringing Your Own Brigade, it's a, a movie based on firefighters, also about saving the planet. It is World Environmental Day today. And also, I thought, another good re reason for training your legs, we were speaking about Dune, in the movie coming out. So running in the sand's not that easy. It's not Let an me easy tell thing. you. Okay, <laughs> so let's so, get into it. Straight into one of the biggest muscles in the body and one of the strongest muscles in the body, if you didn't know what that is. It's called the gluteus maximus. That's our bottom over here. So we're doing something called the kettlebell swing, holding your weight in both hands, making sure that we got a gorilla posture. What that means is gorillas have their chest out. Oh, I am gorilla, I am strong, and they have a nice neutral spine, right? Remember that. In our gorilla po posture, we're gonna bring the kettlebell down and then explosively squeeze the glutes and bring it up straight up in front of us. You'll see myself and Zoe keeping a nice neutral spine for this. And you can increase your reps too. So go for 20 reps in total on this one. And again, four sets each will get you done on this first exercise. And I promise you that already is gonna be a burner on the glutes. How are we feeling there? I love kettlebell swings, because the thing for me is like you have to focus on your posture. Yes. You don't want to rely on that momentum and injure your back. 100% and it's such a nice active workout. At the same time, you forget how many calories you're burning, put some music on with this and you really get into the zone. Yes. All right, so now I'm going to do an adaption from the kettlebell swing. We're going to get a little bit more technical, but we're going to try and create a flow. So again, a nice dance, burning curls, but working the legs at the same time. So kettlebell or the weight is in one hand now. We start off with a basic swing and then we bring the kettlebell to our shoulder for a rest. This is where we hold it together and from here we're going to go into a squat. So get your glutes nice and low, you're keeping your posture neutral and then back into a swing, switch to the other hand and then bring it back to the opposite shoulder once again and then going down for a good squat. All right, so you're starting to feel a little bit of a rhythm, swing, switch to the other hand and then over to the shoulder and now you can start playing with this. You can start dancing, you can get some friends involved as well and it starts becoming not only an exercise of conditioning but also concentration too, which is very important to all that mind muscle connection. Oh, I'm trying to talk and do this. It's actually getting a bit hard now. <laughs> it is always difficult to talk while you do exercise. It is, but you're absolutely nailing it, Zoe. I love your form. Great posture over there, working those glutes nicely. And remember, every time you're doing that swing, just have extra emphasis on squeezing those glutes, squeezing those thighs and those legs. That's just going to give you that extra strength and conditioning that we all are here for, right? We need that. We need that. Give me 10 seconds, I need a break. You need to breathe in, take a deep <laughs> breath through your nose, out the mouth. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Awesome. Breathing is very important when you exercise. It is, of course. Now, guys, remember, have some music, have good ambience, have some good fluid with you, and then get ready for the last exercise of this lower body workout. Now, remember, 10 reps for that last one. The other, the first workout was 20. For this one over here, you're gonna go for time. So 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Hold the kettlebell in your left hand for this one. And we're gonna focus on firefighters. The instability and the control needed to carry something, whether it's a big pipe, whether it's a victim, whether it's an obstacle in the road, doesn't matter what it is, firefighters gotta be ready. And there's not always proper balance. So kettlebell in the one hand, wire to force the core to stabilize and counterbalance. Then we're gonna go for a forward lunge with the right leg. So left hand, kettlebell, right leg forward for a lunge. We just step into that lunge, good control, step all the way back and reverse that lunge, taking that leg all the way back and you're gonna repeat this. There we go. Don't let that leg come to the center. Just keep the stability in between and you'll start feeling your quads, you'll start feeling your glutes and you'll start feeling the rest, the rest of your legs working over time. How are you feeling over yes, there, Yes, it's burning. <laughs> it's burning. I normally indeed. cheat and put the foot down in the middle. Exactly that. So this is a great tip. Of course, guys, if you are struggling with this, as you can see in the transition, 
version. We aren't putting our foot down, but you're more than welcome to start off in that movement. So Zoe and I can show you again. As we transition, we put our foot down. If you want to, if you want to start off, but if you are wanting to make it a little bit harder for yourself, then as Zoe is doing right now, don't put your foot in the middle and go straight to the back. That's going to increase flow. Yes, that's going to increase the stability. That's going to increase the stimulation of the legs as well, and of course, just get you fire fighter ready. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Oh, I'm sweating proper over here. Let's finish <laughs> over to the other side, Mzanzi. You guys can join us now. Other side of the leg, the exact same thing, just for the sake of balance and keeping that good posture. You don't have to speed this up as well. What we want to focus on is stability. You want to be strong, you want to be proud, you want to be able to save someone's life. And focus on your breathing. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Ah, now while we focus on our breathing, you Mzanzi can focus on enjoying all these firefighter gains. And thank you once again, JP Sebastian, for coming through on that epic plug. Bring your own brigade. I got my Catch sweat your on. breath. Catch your breath. Catch my breath. I got my sweat on now. I need a hose off. I need a firefighter in my life just to cool me down. But Mzanzi, thank you for joining us. Well done, sir. Thank you, that was good. Good form. <laughs>